Joins are used to combine data from two or more tables. And there are typically four types of join statements. The first type is called the inner join. The second is called the left join. The third is called the right join, outer join and cross join. Now in this video, I'll explain to you exactly how inner join, left joins work, right joins and so on. We'll look at the syntax and then we will go right into the demos. So here's an example of inner join. We have two tables. First is the employee table. The second is the department table. Uh, the employee table here has three records. Uh, for John Doe, Jane Myers and Mike Daniels. As you can see that John Doe and Jane Myers, they both work in department 101. The department 101 is the HR department. The second table that we have is the department table, which has the department ID. So 101 corresponds to HR, 102 corresponds to finance, 103 corresponds to IT. Now, if I were to do an inner join on these two tables, my output would look something like this. I would get a table that consists of two records, John Doe and Jane Myers with department ID 101 and department name HR. The reason that is happening is because I am performing an inner join on department ID and the way inner join works is it looks at the department IDs that exist in both tables. As you can see, 101 is the only ID that exists in the employee table as well as it exists in the department table and therefore you'll only see these two records come back when we perform inner join. Now let's take a look at the left join. Now again, let's use the same two tables. We have the employee table and we have the department table. The left join will always return records from the left table. Okay, all the records from the left table. That's how left join works. The key word here is left. You have one table on the left, you have one table on the right. Left join will always return records from the left table. So let's see, if we were to perform a left join, the way it would work is, I would get all the records from the left table. So this, one, two, three, John Doe, Jane Myers, Mike Daniels. I would get these department IDs, 101, 101, 104. And now wherever there is a match from the department table, that information will be populated. So of course we have a match only with 101. Therefore we have HR populated and 104 returns nothing. As you can imagine, right join will return all the records from the right table and cross join really records uh, returns records from both tables, regardless of whether there's a match or not. The whole purpose of cross join or outer join is to combine records from two or more tables. Now we'll take a look at the demo and we'll build all the different kinds of demos in MySQL. So I've created two tables, the employees table and the departments table. In both these tables, I've populated the data exactly like we saw in the PowerPoint decks we looked at a couple of minutes ago. And let me show you by running the select star statement, select star from employees. You'll notice that this has three records, John Doe, Jane Myers, Mike Daniels. They have the department IDs. And the next one is departments and I have these three records where 101 corresponds to HR, 102 corresponds to finance and 103 corresponds to IT. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to perform an inner join. So I'm going to do select star from employees because I want to see all the columns from the employees table inner join, inner join with departments. Next is I want an on condition. When am I inner joining these two tables? On condition, employees dot, and let me confirm the field employees dot department ID. is equal to departments dot department id so departments dot department id and now let's execute this command and see what we get so there you go exactly what we saw in the deck we only get two records we get john doe and jane myers the reason being this
The reason being this, where we see that John Doe and Jane Myers, their department ID is 101. The second table has record, the second table has an entry for 101. So the way inner join works is it looks for matching criteria and displays information. If the criteria does not match that data or those rows of records will not be displayed. And therefore you do not see Mike Daniels being displayed here as 104 is not part of this table. Now let's take a look at the left join. So the, the entire query stays the same. I want select star from employees, but here I want to change this to left join. Okay. And let's run this query and see what we get. Now the expected behavior here is we get all the rows from the left table. Okay. So in the left table, we have employee IDs, we have names, we have department IDs. All right. And it's going to match with the table on the right. So the, the table on the right was a department table 101 matches. It brings in the value for the department name. If it does not match, if it does not match, it's going to bring in no information or null information. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to replace the left join with right join. So let me run this query and see what we get. So when we run this query, what we get is we get the first two records from table one, which is John Doe and Jane Myers. Now remember, for right join, we will always get all the records from the right table. So in the right table, we have department ID for 101, 102 and 103. Okay. However, there is a match with two employees that belong in the employees table. Therefore, you see John, John, J John Doe and Jane Myers here. We have two records here. You can see the HR department and then 102 and 103. So we have returned all the records from the right table or from the department table. There is no corresponding information for this particular department ID in employees and therefore it returns null. Now the final thing is to look at cross join. Now remember for cross join we do not need the on condition because we are returning rows from both tables. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to change this to cross join and now I can run this particular command. Now I run this command, I get information from both the tables.